Today, I'm going to re-examine the phrase, how you do one thing is how you do all things. You're listening to the Sales Life, a top 5% podcast in the world. I'm your host, Marsh Bice, and the Sales Life has taken the skills that I've learned in over two decades of the sales profession, and I'll show you how to apply those to every area of your life. Because the number one skill that you need in life is your ability to sell. Everything that you've achieved in life is because you sold your way there. And everything that you haven't achieved is because you settled and you stopped selling. So if you want to have more, do more, be more, then say no more. Let's get on with today's episode. You know, and it's a it's a pretty even divide when it comes to the phrase, how you do one thing is how you do all things. See, there's people on one side of the aisle that say, yeah, I agree with that. But then there's other people on the other side of the aisle that say, no, I don't agree with that, Marsh, because the way that I fold clothes, I'm not going to approach it with the same intensity that I would if I'm going to be preparing for a speech or the way that I do my job. I don't do everything the same way. But here's a better way to look at it. The way that you do one thing sets up the way that you do other things. See, that one thing becomes your lead domino for everything else. See, when you look at it this way, this eliminates the way that people literally take it and say, well, I'm not trying to be a champion dishwasher. Like for me, let me show you what it did for me. The way I approached my health became the lead domino for so many other things in my life. The 5 a.m. starts. The bust of sweat every day. Eat all the foods that you want. Just make sure they're clean foods. And no alcohol before 5. Those were my rules. And I didn't even want any alcohol after 5 o'clock because I didn't want to give my progress away. I was already exhausted anyway. I just wanted to go to bed. And so those rules right there took me from a 42-inch waistline to a 34-inch waistline in only four months just by following those things. No pills, no extra shakes, no diet, meal prep, none of that. I just had those rules. 5 a.m., bust a sweat every day. If it's 10 minutes or 45 minutes, just make sure you bust a sweat. Eat all the food you want. Just make sure it's clean food and no alcohol before five. See, I think sometimes, man, we get too entrenched and we make things way too difficult. And this is why we burn out. The results that I've received in four months actually became my lead domino in me putting my life back together. See, at that time, the only win I had was my health. I was going through a divorce. I was demoted. I was choking in debt. The only thing I had was my health. That was it. But see, because I stayed with that, it reached that tipping point and helped me get myself back together personally and professionally as well. See, one thing you have to understand is everything is connected. You can be successful and your personal life be a total wreck. That can happen, but you can't sustain it. Eventually, it's going to catch up with you. One is going to take over the other. Like for me, the healthy choices that I begin to make, that's what helped me put my life back together. But there was a flip side of that too. There was a dark side that overtook me before that. My personal life eventually took over my career. It'll catch up with you. So even though at the time, I was doing well. I was running the store. But those choices in that darkness eventually caught up with me and overtook me and caused my demotion. Here's one thing I want to leave with you. Find your lead domino. 
And you may have a lot of things that are wrong with your life. You just need to start with one thing. Just find one thing. What is the thing that you desire most? Like for me, I, I was so, I, I was I was freaked out because I, here I was about to turn 40. And I said, if I continue at this rate, I was like five pounds away from my old offensive lineman playing days. It was like almost 275, 280. And as a 40-year-old, that ain't cute. And I said, if I continue at this pace, at 50, man, I'm going to have diabetes. I'm going to be in a world of shit. And so the thing that I desired most, I just attacked that one thing. I didn't know how everything else was going to shake out. I had no idea that my life was going to completely fall apart. I had no clue. But when it did, thank God I had that one thing. That became the anchor in my storm. And I was able to hold on to that when everything else was crumbling. The one thing I could do was go outside and run. I barely had money for a gym membership. But even though I was broke, I would not give up that gym. That was the only thing that saved me. So what's the thing that you desire most? And it could be your health. It could be the fact that you want to learn more. Or maybe you want to learn sales. Or maybe it's a creative. You want to start a YouTube channel or a podcast. Find the thing that you desire. And make it easy and most. That's your two rules. The easy means what is the thing that you can commit to? That no matter how hellish your day may be, you can commit to it. No matter what. It's your NMWs. Your no matter what. So for me, the health, nothing got in the way at 5 a.m. Nobody else was moving around. So 5 a.m. was my start time. It didn't matter how bad things went at work. It didn't matter what was going on in my personal life. It did not interfere with my family. I could hit the health, 5 a.m. I dreaded it, but I hit it. So make it easiest. What's the thing? And you start with something small, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. See, if it's too complex, you're going to quit. If it's too much of a commitment, you're going to quit. So the easiest means you start with 10 minutes and know you're not going to see huge results right then and there. But what you're doing is you're building your averages. See, you can't be great until you become average. And right now you got to build your averages. You got to build in some consistency. And the consistency is going to create the wins but you got to make it non-negotiable. And the wins will actually increase your competitiveness. And the competitiveness, you'll naturally raise your expectations and your intensity. You're going to raise the bar. You're going to naturally do that. So you don't have to worry about, well, I really need to hit. You're not ready for that. Start small. Build the averages, the consistencies. Create some wins. And then the next thing you know, whatever it is that you're chasing, you're absorbing any other knowledge that you can get on that. New exercise moves. New podcast techniques. New ways of creating videos. Whatever it is. And you increase the intensity and you raise the bar. It's going to naturally come to you. You got to make it easy hard. Meaning that you devote just a small amount of time. And when that time is up, that's it. So if you're exercising, some of the moves may be hard for you to do. And so in that 10-minute time, you're going to be like, well, I didn't really get anything done. You keep coming back to that, though. It gets easier and easier and easier, and you get more efficient at it. And then, of course, the consistency builds the wins, and the wins increase the intensity. So here's how the lead domino works for me. The decision to become healthier created the elimination from toxic people. See, I felt better about myself. I looked better. And so I insisted on better. And I didn't 
deserve certain people in my camp. So I eliminated them. They weren't good for me. And then the healthy lifestyle eliminated toxic people. And the elimination of the toxic people created the sales life where I began to share my journey and teach others that you don't have to settle in life. But in order to never settle, you got to keep selling through communication, curiosity, creativity, continuous learning, and confrontation, but in a productive way. And so now with the creation of the TSL, well, let's just see how high that goes. Let's get out of here. Be sure and share today's episode with someone else who you feel like could use it. And also, we need the ratings and reviews. Can't stress that enough because I can sit here behind a mic all day long. But the ratings and review help boost the show. The stars show your support, but the ratings share your love. What does the sales life mean to you? Because your words could be the words that begins to initiate the change in someone's life. All thanks to you. For more of The Sales Life, be sure and check out the YouTube channel and also head to thesaleslife.me. That's thesaleslife.me. And there you will find thousands of free resources from blogs to videos to, of course, podcasts. Remember, the greatest sale that you will ever make is to sell you on you. Never settle. Keep selling. Stay in the sales life.